This is the second part of uh, video lesson 10-2 and this is special right triangles but now we are going to discuss 30, 60, 90 special right triangles. Okay, So I'm going to again uh, start with the equilateral triangle and then I'm going to draw the altitude. Okay, I'm going to drop an altitude here. So what this altitude is going to do is it's going to cut this side in half. Okay, It's going to bisect this side and also it's also going to bisect this angle. As you know, if a uh, triangle is equilateral, then all angles have to measure 60 degrees. But this one here is being bisected by the altitude, so this angle is 30 degrees and this one is also 30 degrees. So I'm going to take just half of this triangle, okay? And again, I'm not trying to make a perfect picture here. So I'm going to do my best. Um, and take one of those or half of that equilateral triangle so you can see that we end up with a special right triangle um, specifically a 30 60 90 special right triangle okay so the pattern for this one is uh, that this is called the short leg okay so I'm gonna call this short leg I'm gonna say this is X okay and the long leg that's this leg here is uh, always x times the square root of 3. And the hypotenuse is always 2 times the length of the short leg, so then this one is 2x. So that's the pattern for this one. Okay, So we are going to apply the, uh, this pattern on the next uh, few problems. So let's go on to example number 1. Okay, um, So as you can see, on this uh, with this problem here, we are given the leg opposite to the 60 degree angle, which is the short leg, I mean to the 30 degree angle, I'm sorry, which is the short leg. Opposite to the 60 degree angle is the long leg. And now I didn't mention that here, but you can see it here. This is 60, this is the long leg. This is uh, 30, this is the short leg, okay? And the hypotenuse, as you know, is always opposite to the right angle. So having said that, um, I have, I am given the, the short leg, so then I'm going to write that down. Short leg is uh, given a length of 11. Now watch how uh, knowing this information is going to help me find the length of the long leg and also the length of the hypotenuse. So if I want to find the long leg, the long leg, since this is 11, all I have to do is, this is 11, this has to be 11 square root of 3. So just write down the 11 and add to it or tag along the um, square root of 3 to the uh, to 11. Now, if I want to find the hypotenuse, okay, notice this is the short leg. So the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg, but the short leg is 11. So to find the hypotenuse, all I have to do is multiply 11 times 2 or 2 times 11, same thing, and this is equal to 22. So there is the length of the hypotenuse. This is the length of the uh, long leg. Okay, let's continue on to the next uh, problem. So as you can see, um, in this problem, we're given the side opposite to the right angle, which is the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is 10. So if we have the hypotenuse, we can find the short leg because the hypotenuse, don't forget, it's always two times the length of the short leg. So if we want to find the short leg, all we have to do is take the hypotenuse, instead of multiplying by 2, we divide by 2. So the short leg has a length of 5. Now, since we know the short leg now, applying this pattern, short leg, short leg, square root of 3, which means um, the long leg is going to be equal to 5 times the square root of 3. Okay, so um, once we apply the patterns, uh, we find the length of each one of those two uh, sides. Let's continue on to example number three. So notice on this one here, uh, we're given the side opposite to the 60 degree angle, and as we know, this is the long leg, so we don't know the short leg, and we don't know the hypotenuse, but we can use this information to help us determine the other two. So uh, don't forget the long leg, okay, the long leg is usually given by this. So notice that we have only the square root of 3 on this one, 
but that means that there is a one implied because it's one times the square root of uh, three. So this is our x value. So if this is our x value, what's the value of, I'm sorry, if this is the square root of three, what's the value of, uh, of the leg? This is just one, right? So then the short leg has to be one, okay? Because if this is one, then the long leg is one times the square root of three. So that's what this is saying. And I'm sorry, this might have confused you and this was not uh, correct, by the way, okay? But I hope you understand. Um, but then if you wanna find the hypotenuse, again, applying this pattern, this is one X, this is two X. But in this case, the value of X is one. So then we just multiply two times one, which is equal to two. So this is the short leg and this is the hypotenuse, okay? Let's continue on to the last example here. So this one is going to be a little bit, it's gonna take a little bit more work to do. Because um, notice we're given the long leg and we're used to seeing that the long leg is represented by uh, x square root of three, okay? Based on this pattern, that's the long leg. So we need to find the short leg and the hypotenuse. So what I'm going to do here is on the side, I'm going to uh, solve for x. Okay, so I'm gonna use algebra here. So I have x square root of three equals 12. Now, I want to solve for x. There is a radical or a square root of three in front of it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm sorry, uh, with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to divide by the square root of three so I can uh, isolate the x. So then I have the x by itself. And now this is 12, uh, so x equals 12 square root of 3. And just like on the previous video, in algebra, we are not allowed to have radicals in the denominator. So then we multiply by the square root of 3, which is called uh, rationalizing the denominator, okay? Um, and that has to do with rational and irrational numbers. And if you, haven't, uh, if you don't remember any of that, you will see this again in algebra 2. So when we do this, uh, we have now that x equals 12 square root of three divided by the square root of three times the square root of three, it's gonna be the square root of nine. Um, but the square root of nine, we all know that is equal to three. So 12 square root of three divided by three. And three goes into 12 evenly, because um, 12 divided by three is four, so then x equals four square root of three, which means that the short leg, this is the value of x, which is what we wanted, right? So the short leg is four square root of three. The hypotenuse, don't forget the hypotenuse is two times the short leg. So this is uh, two times four square root of three, which is equal to two times four is eight, and just keep the square root of, square root of three next to that eight. And there we have the short leg and the hypotenuse. All right, again, uh, let us know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you guys in another video lesson. Bye-bye.